Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, I am Laura and I just do kind of like some random videos whenever I feel the urge. Um, I have not been as consistent as I had hoped to have been, but um, if you do not know, my husband is in the army and we are getting ready to move. Uh, we've been here in, uh, stationed at Fort Benning, we live in Alabama, and we've been here for about almost two years and now we are getting ready to move to Colorado. It's just like a waiting game right now. And so we've kind of just been pretty busy, just getting stuff ready around the house, cleaning, going through stuff, getting rid of stuff, which kind of leads me to today's video. Today, we are going to do a makeup look. And it is, I've seen the tag before on YouTube and it is the doing my makeup how I did it in high school look. Um, and I, we, while we were going through the garage yesterday, we were going through boxes and we found old photos and I found a photo of me in high school. I'm going to try to insert it here. Um, and so I, I thought it was going to be a great picture to do this video with. Um, it's not, I didn't wear a ton of makeup or it doesn't look like I wore a ton of makeup, um, but it's kind of unique. Um, I also found this choker, which is in the photo. I'm kind of a hoarder and I have the sweater also that is in the photo it's the exact same one still have it um, I don't have the shirt still but I found this one it's just black same you know basic and so um, yeah I thought this would be a fun video to do so if you guys want to see how I transform back into the day which I can't exactly remember what year it was that the photo was taken but I did graduate high school in 2004, and so I'm gonna say that picture is early 2000s. Um, so yeah, and that, there was no, you know, there was barely had internet back then. And I come from a small town, so we didn't have a whole lot of inspo or tutorials or anything like that. So I just kind of made stuff up as I went along. So if you guys are ready to come along on this journey to the early 2000s with me, stick around and we'll get right into it. Okay, so living in a small town, we did not have, you know, Sephora, there's no Ulta or anything like that back then, and I was broke. Um, and I was also still cheap back then, so I never splurged on expensive makeup. I knew nothing about expensive makeup. I knew about makeup at Walmart. So that is what I wore. Um, and it wasn't a lot, actually. I literally have like one, two, three, four, five, six, six makeup items here on the counter. Um, and obviously I don't have everything that I used to use back in the day, but I'm going to try to make it work the best that I can. Um, and even the tools, like I didn't know make a brush. No. So I use like those little sponges from, you know, the little throwaway makeup sponges or my fingers. So, um, I forgot to bring a mirror up to look at, but I do have my iPad right here. So I'm going to be looking at my iPad. So if I'm not looking at you, I'm looking at that, which I'm going to use as a mirror today. Okay. So no primer, no moisturizer, no nothing. I did moisturize my face today because I have to, but no primer, no nothing. And I used to wear, I believe it was just basic, you know, cover girl, foundation. I didn't even know how to match my skin tone, nothing. I think I just randomly, okay. That really hasn't changed a whole lot. I still kind of just pick up and I, I got like 30 different shades of foundation because I, I don't know, I just never get it right. And I tan so often and like my body is way darker than my face. And so I've got a variety. Um, but I always did use cover girl and I do have a cover girl foundation on hand and the one I'm going to use is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir and this is the shade 757. I love this foundation and it has SPF of 20 which is really good. Um, this is golden tan. Um, it's a lightweight full coverage makeup. Um, it says this formula hydrates and it includes a complex of SPF 20 vitamins and antioxidants and it is oil free. Um, I got it on clearance. So that's on my sticker because I'm still cheap y'all. 
So um, we are just gonna go ahead and slap this on. I did used to use the little makeup sponges, like I said before, the little throwaway ones that come in the triangle and all that. Um, I don't have those anymore, so I am going to use my sponge, and I apologize, it is filthy dirty, and I need to wash it. Um, but this is the, I just threw it on the floor. It's okay. So don't be worried. I do have to go grocery shopping after this, but I'm going to wash my face. I'm not going to go out in public looking like this. So um, I'm just going to use this. I do have a tear on it. Me. Okay, so let's go in. Look how dark that is. But if you see the, look at, if you see the rest of my body, look how dark. I try to match my body. All right. So, so yeah, I do apologize for not uploading more videos lately. I think it's been a couple weeks, but also, um, my husband decided to, um, take a different step in his military career and that led him to some schooling where he was gone for five months. So he left in January and he just got back. So, hence the other reason I have not been uploading. We've just been really enjoying some family time and just, you know, getting stuff ready for this move. It's coming up quick. Um, but it's exciting. Jackson is so excited. He's asking all day, every day for the moving truck to come empty our house. So, um, but oh my gosh, you guys, it has like been snowing in Colorado, which is scary because I love the heat, but, and I love tanning. And so I'm not ready to go from this 100 degree southern weather to snow. Like how the heck am I supposed to pack? Let's see. I hope I, I think I did this growing up, come down my neck. What do you guys think? I really like this. Um, hold on one second. Okay. okay. All right. So, all right. Makeup item number one. Next one, I did not use concealer. I didn't even know what concealer was until like three years ago. Mm -hmm. But I used to also use the CoverGirl Little Compact. Everybody had them. You know, you keep them in your back pocket when you go to school. And then in between classes, you go to the bathroom and you use a little poof and you ch 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 touch up that face. Um, I don't have that. So, this is the Wet n Wild Press Powder. The Photo Focus Press Powder. And this is the shade Warm Beige. Probably doesn't even match. But, and I don't have a little poofy thingy. So here we go. We're going with the little sponge and we are going to just set the face. I actually really enjoy this powder. I usually use it more for with a brush and kind of do a you know a light dusting over the face. And I'm pretty sure when I was in school, I would like apply like 30 layers of powder each day. I'm pretty sure. All right. All right. Item number two. And yeah, I didn't do eyebrows, but I'm going to spoolie them. This is the e.l.f. I, um, brow pencil. I am loving this. I think it's like three dollars, and I've been I've been really really enjoying it. So, but okay, eyebrows are done. Okay, so all right. Next up, we'll, I didn't wear eyeshadow either. And I, I think there was a time where I did, and I used to wear purple, and I used to only put it right there. See what the crease is right there on my eyelid. I'd be like, bloop. But, not in this picture. 
I was going, I was kind of like the weird kid. If you can see from my outfit and my makeup, I was kind of the, the weird goth kid. Um, and the fact that I still have this in a lot of my clothes and I'm still loving them, it goes to show that I'm still that weird kid. I'm just a weird adult now, but it's fine. Okay, so I was a big uh, blue eyeliner person. And I just did my waterline in blue. Um, this is not the creamiest. This is the NYC Coal Eyeliner Pencil in the Navy, which my husband is in the Army. I wonder if they have a green called in the Army. But I have a hard time finding this brand anymore. Um, but I'm going to, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking here because I only point my, like stab my eye out. So. Ooh. Okay, I'm making the weird faces. Just ignore me, guys. And the pencil that I used to use, I believe it was the Maybelline one. I think it was like, or it had like, it was like the red packaging. Um, yeah, that's what I used. Okay, and I feel like I maybe, did I drag it out? I think I did. A little bit bigger. Yes, mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my God, it's getting hot in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not gonna complain, I'm not gonna complain. We're going to snow, we're going to Colorado. Enjoy the heat, okay. All right guys, so literally I have mascara and lips left. Mm -hmm. And I used to use, of course, I think it was the, what, that Maybelline was a lime green package that you know everybody used. And I used to wear the navy blue. Yeah, they had a blue mascara. They still sell it, but I don't have that. So I'm just gonna use this. This is the CoverGirl Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. And I'm just gonna do a quick coat. Um, I didn't do anything fancy. You couldn't even tell in the photo that I was wearing mascara. So we're just going basic. Just a little bit. I really like this mascara. I actually got it at Walmart on clearance. Cause I'm not, a, I hate buying mascara and I usually only use the ones that come in like Ipsy bags and stuff. Um, but I think at one point I was running out or um, I just kind of wanted like a cheapy one for like everyday wear and I saw this one on clearance and I actually really like it. All right, last step guys, the lips. This is where it gets kind of scary. So, my cousin Claudia, she's three years older than me, and she taught me how to line my lips. And I kind of just stuck with that, but I always threw blue in it. So, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna line the lips with brown. We're gonna fill in with blue. And then what I used to have, it was a Lip Smackers chapstick, but it was brown, like tinted brown, and then I would put that over. Obviously, I don't have that, and I can't find that, so I'm going to use this. This is um, LA Colors Matte Lipstick, and it's actually, like, it's, like, pretty, it's, it's kind of sheer, like a nudie kind of color. Um, so we're going to use that, and I think we're going to get the same effect. So I am brown. I come from New Mexico originally, so you know we're about the lining the lips with brown. That's how... That's how we did it. All right, I got lip balm mama. Okay, and I don't even have a brown, like regular like eyeliner that I used to use. So this is the CoverGirl Ink It um, in Cocoa Ink, and it is just a brown gel eyeliner, which I've, I've always used pencils, but I don't have a brown pencil. So we're gonna go with this. And if you see in my photos, they weren't lined very well. I mean, my, my skills have improved a tad, but still. I 
Man, I wish I would have brought up a, a mirror up here. Okay, that doesn't... That's looking okay. I mean, it's already better than what it was when I was in high school. Not the greatest. Okay, now we're gonna go into blue and we're gonna just do this. Isn't this scary? Mm-hmm. And then we're gonna pretend this is our lip smackers. We're gonna do this. Mm-hmm. Not as great. It's a little bit more, has a little more color to it than like what my lip smackers did, but I feel like it needs more blue. Oh. All right. And that's about it. So give me one second and we will throw this whole outfit together. Okay, you guys, so this is the, you know, my original necklace, choker. This is the original sweater, which I still love, and I can't get rid of it. I literally, we had this, I think, since, like, middle school, back in the late 90s. I know, I got issues, guys. I got issues, but don't worry. We're moving. We cleaned out the attic and the garage, and I got rid of a ton of stuff. Mm-hmm. So, okay, oh, sorry. My regular necklace is a pain in the booty to take off, so I left it on, and we're just going to cover that up. So, all right. Let's see. Do I have my... How do my face look in the picture? I can't even remember. I think it was like this. It's me smiling. My goth smile. What do you guys think? I mean, it could be worse, right? really am digging that mascara so not too bad hmm maybe I'll just I have to just go to Walmart maybe I'll just wipe off the lip and throw some eyeshadow on and fix the rest of my face and not wash it because I do like oh that's sticky it needs to be set some more um but yeah this is my look this is me in high school but I'm way happier now so yeah, let me know if you guys like, um, have how you guys have changed your makeup looks and stuff. Um, what did you wish you knew when you were in high school that you know now? There's a lot. Mm-hmm. My biggest thing with makeup that I wish I knew was <laughs> washing my face properly every day, every night. Because you know what? Every single night I went to bed with a full face of makeup on. I know it's sick, don't judge me. I've learned, I've grown, we've moved on. And now I've got like a 10 step like skincare routine. So hey, knowledge is power, the more you know. So, okay, this is it guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you. Oh, well I guess since I haven't been on, like my video, Leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, and let me know if you guys like these types of videos and what else you guys want me to do. Um, obviously, we are moving and we got so much going on, so the consistency of ma me making videos is not going to be the greatest. Um, and I'm kind of not sure what my filming setup is going to be like when we get to Colorado, when we get everything organized and choose rooms and see what's left over and all, you know, all the crazy stuff. Um, but I will please yeah hit the notification bell that way if I do randomly spontaneously upload a video you'll get notified so you won't miss out on this great content so that is it I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope wherever you are the weather is treating you well um and yeah that is it and I will see you guys in my next video bye